fun, but it's also confusing at the same time, as you have to be able to break the language barrier. So I'm learning how to talk to people without as much saying English words. I have to adapt to their language and I have to use body language. Mm, exciting. Sometimes you do this, sometimes you do that, sometimes you do that, and sometimes you do that. Because it's different nationalities and different nationalities do other things, so every day you do another thing. Because this is international. Well, I learned that there are definitely different holidays. Because I can, I can learn different culture from different, different friends. Or if it's the first day, like, it's kind of a little excited to meet new friends. Now, before, my favorite animal was a tiger. Tigers and wild. Now, my favorite animals are caracals, impalas, and armadillos. And why is that? I love armadillos. They're so cute. Because since everybody's different, you're able to just be yourself, and it's okay to be different. So, it's, yeah. Uh... You, you realize that a lot of the stereotypes that are out there are not necessarily true. I play cricket now. I didn't know that there was a sport like that before. And I learned that just by coming to India. As it changes, I feel like everyone's changing too. The world is changing so you can see all the connections. It's like a huge web. So I meet a lot of people who who are open to a lot of new ideas, who are really, I guess, internationally minded. I think it's a really important skill to have in life to be able to learn and get along with people from all around the world. It's a cool experience because I've never had a Japanese person, a Korean person, a, a per someone from Denmark and someone from India and someone from the US all in the same room with me learning the same things. I can meet friends that are from different countries. Back in Japan, I can barely see international people, so it is a very big opportunity learning English here. Because I can make new friends from uh, 